The 12th parliamentary session starts today. Dr. Shirin Shamin elected as a speaker for the fourth time. Government's main goal is to control commodity prices, says Akader. People's demand cannot be suppressed by torture, claims Goyeshore. And the government is not a party to Dr. Yunus case, says a foreign minister, published ad in the Washington Post primarily focused on lobbying efforts. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm for Zero Show with you in the newsroom today. We are sort watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. The first session of the 12th Parliament began today with Deputy Speaker Shamsul Hak Tuku in the chair. The day's proceedings began with a recitation from the Holy Quran around 3 p.m. The President Shahabuddin addressed the first session of the year. Later, on the speech was discussed in the motion of thanks. Earlier, the Speaker was elected in the meeting of the Executive Committee of the Parliament. Dr. Shin Sharmin Chaudhry is elected again as the Speaker of the Parliament. Controlling commodity prices is a big challenge, says Awa Malik Jana Secretary Obadul Kader. He also said that the public representatives will give a priority to solving the problems of the people. In this briefing in Thambundi, he also said that there is no corruption, free democracy anywhere in the world. Obadul Kader also said that U.S. Ambassador and European Union congratulated the Prime Minister and promised to work together. BNP is conducting Black Flag March program in all cities, districts, supozilas, police stations, and municipalities of the country, including Dhaka. The procession took off from seven places in the capital at 2 p.m. Earlier in the morning at the Jatiu Press Club, the member of the Standing Committee of the party, Goyshu Roy, said that the people of the whole country have expressed hatred on the 12th National Parliament with the black flag. The BNP leaders alleged that the government is also obstructing the peace movement. The government is not a party in the case of Dr. Mohammed Yunus, says Foreign Minister Hassan Mahmoud. He said that the workers who have been deprived have filed a case against him. The Foreign Minister said this in response to questions from journalists after a discussion with the non-resident ambassadors of 14 countries at the Foreign Service Academy in the capital. He said, regarding the trial of Dr. Mohammed Yunus on January 29, Washington Post and American-based newspaper published an advertisement for money, not a review. Incessant shelling between election leaders and insurgents has created a panic in Bandarban's Naiksha constituency with sound of helicopters and heavy mortal shells being launched. They are being repeatedly ordered to block the border. Particularly, measures are also called for emergency. Earlier, the cases were stopped for security reasons. Armed rebel members of the Arakan army have been fighting for days with the country's leader in the party's Arakan state. From Saturday, Teknap's house was further aggravated by the arrival of bullets. The High Court has ordered that the accused cannot be hanged except for the top terrorists, militants and criminals. It has been asked to strictly follow the circular of the Ministry of Home Affairs in this regard. According to the circular, top terrorists, militants, prisoners of bad nature can be extorted in court or brought elsewhere. The lawyer said that the court has asked to follow this circular. Apart from this, no prisoner or accused can be put on the road. At the same time, the court also issued a ruling on the reality of bringing a leader of the Chatrodol to his father's funeral. The High Court Bench of Justice Mustafa Zaman Islam and Justice Muhammad Atabullah gave this order today. We are about to the end and the headlines once again. The 12th Parliament session starts today. Dr. Shreen Shamin elected as a speaker for the fourth time. 
government's main goal is to control commodity prices, says Akander. People's demand cannot be suppressed by torture, came to Goyashore. Government is not a party to Dr. Yunus' case, says a foreign minister. Published ad in the Washington Post primarily focused on lobbying efforts. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News Online, visit YouTube slash My TV BT News. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash My TV Bangla, Facebook slash My TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.